Today, another revelation from former security contractor Edward Snowden, complete with documentation and meticulous detail. And again, the scale is staggering. According to Snowden, the U.S. National Security Agency collects more than a billion online communications every day. It has a database of trillions, and it can search through them with just a few clicks of the mouse without prior authorization. Keith Bogue explains. The rollout is familiar. Glenn Greenwald, writing in the Guardian newspaper, lays out classified information received directly from former National Security Agency contractor Edward Snowden, now holed up in a Moscow airport. The latest revelations are about the NSA's X-Keyscore system. X-Keyscore apparently gives the NSA the ability to comb through the emails, online chats, and online browsing histories of millions of people using only their email or internet provider addresses. That bolsters the claim Snowden made last month. I, sitting at my desk, uh, certainly had the authorities to, to wiretap anyone from you or your accountant to a federal judge to even the president if I had a personal email. At the time, lawmakers called that nonsense. People at the NSA in particular have heard a constant public drumbeat uh, about a laundry list of nefarious things they are alleged to be doing to spy on Americans. Uh, all of them wrong. Media and technology journalist Derek Mead says it's now clear Snowden wasn't lying. More worrisome, X key score is at least five years old. So even though this seems like state-of-the-art capabilities that we never would have believed could happen, this is still far beyond what they could be doing today with five more years of development. At precisely the moment Snowden's latest leak popped up in The Guardian, the Senate Judiciary Committee was sitting down with the key players in the national security establishment to ask how such leaks could happen. It's obvious there weren't adequate controls. Uh, has anybody been fired? No, sir, not yet. Has, so they, has anybody been admonished? Uh, so those investigations are underway. As for the NSA's claims to the committee last month that its surveillance tactics had prevented 54 terrorist attacks... I've now reviewed all the classified material that the NSA sent. I'm far from convinced. Also about the same time, in Las Vegas, the head of the NSA told a convention of civilian computer hackers that allegations the NSA invades the privacy of ordinary people are simply false. When people check, like the Intelligence Committee, they found zero times that's happened. And that's no bullshit. Those are facts. People disagree about whether Snowden was right to do what he's done but he's scoring points on credibility. It's hard to dismiss the claims he makes when he consistently provides the documents to back them up. Keith Polk, CBC News, Washington.